assalamu alaikum dear friends and my dear students uh, dear friends we, uh, we know that we have uh, started uh, to discuss about the structure of the human eye so in the previous lecture uh, we have discussed about the structure of the cornea in a big detail i hope you have watched those lecture and i hope uh, you have now knowledge of the cornea that what is the composition of cornea and what are each parts and what are the layers of the cornea so we have discussed it now we are going to discuss about the structure of the sclera right so let us uh, write here sclera i record everything in detail i want to record everything in detail so that we have a lots of knowledge about all these structures but when we, when we are watching the video so we should have, we should learn something from the video so that's why i try my best to give you full lectures regarding each and every part what i discuss right so we are going to discuss about sclera so this sclera is derived from word scleros scleros and scleros means hard right so we say that the hardest part of the eye is called the sclera so as we have a model here right and we see that these are the muscles which are attached the extraocular muscles in the previous lecture we have discussed about this part this is called the cornea of the eye we have discussed it now you can see here this white cover of the eye right this is the white cover of the eye this white cover this white external cover outer coat outer cover of the eye is called sclera so what is sclera we also say that the white of the eye is called sclera what you can see in my eyes you see the white cover of the eye is called sclera so let me remind my previous lecture a little bit as we know that our friends we have uh, three covers of the eye how many covers we have three covers the outer cover is called the uh, sclera in the cornea so we just say this is the outer cover and this outer cover is called the sclera right anteriorly the sclera discontinues and it has an anterior bulging part this is called the cornea that we have discussed already in the previous lecture now beneath the sclera we have a vascular layer and this vascular layer is called the uveal tract right uveal tract and this uveal tract is divided into how many parts into three sub parts right like this okay so this was the second or the middle layer this is called the uveal tract right and we are not discussing uveal tract right now so we say just this is the choroid choroid this is the ciliary body right and here we have iris so we say the uveal tract is composed of three sub parts the choroid the ciliary body and the iris and then we have the innermost layer and this innermost layer is a neural layer is a part of your nervous system right and this is called the retina right so this is our third layer and this is called the retina so as in the previous lecture we have said that the eye is composed of three covers right the first cover the outer cover the protective cover the tough cover the hard cover is called the sclera and then a vascular layer which contains lots of blood vessels and capillaries that is uveal tract and then innermost layer that is uh, connected to your nervous system through optic nerve right this is your optic nerve so this innermost layer is called your uh, retina right or neural layer so these were the three layers from which our eye is made so look carefully friends the outermost layer which you can see in the on the on the white board you can see with black color but actually it is not black color actually it is whitish in color right 
So this is called the sclera, the outermost layer of the eye is called sclera. So the sclera word is derived from a word scleros which means heart. So what is sclera? Look carefully friends. If light comes and falls on the retina, right? What is the, sorry, on the sclera. This is light, ray, right? And light ray has came and fallen on the sclera. What This is sclera. So light is not able to pass through the sclera, right? So what do we say? We say sclera is the outer opaque, outer opaque cover of the eye. That's so simple, right? Let me write here the outer opaque cover or coat or we say layer of eye is called the sclera that's so simple this is a very very simple definition of the sclera why because the sclera is composed of later or later on we will see in the composition that the sclera is composed of special type of collagen fibers and those collagen fibers have different type of arrangements so those fibers will not let the light to pass through the sclera and hit the choroid layer and then enter the uh, yeah the retina so sclera look carefully from here up to here this five by six part of the eye is covered by sclera so when light comes and falls on the sclera light cannot pass through that that's why we say it is an opaque layer light cannot pass through there but how light will only be passed through the optic zone of through the optic zone of what optic zone of cornea light will only be passed through the optic zone of the cornea and i have discussed this in the previous lecture regarding the structure of the cornea done so this was the definition of the sclera now we say that sclera is very much it is very much protective in nature it protects our eye in nature if you apply pressure on the eye if you apply pressure on the eye the sclera is a hard cover it will not uh, let the pressure applied on the eye to go to the inside of the eye right so that's why we say sclera is mostly a protective layer right then we will see other points also what is the color of our sclera the color of sclera so look carefully friends if i draw here the sclera a very small part of the sclera i am drawing here right a very small part so this will be the outer part and this is the inner part right so outer from outer part sclera is little bit whitish in color right and the inner part of sclera is little bit brownish in color so it has two colors we say the color of, uh, red, uh, of about the color of the sclera so the outer is whitish in color right and inner sclera is brownish in color we will go in detail of it in a while right and what is the nature of your sclera the nature so its nature is what we, we said that the sclera is hard so we say its nature is hard and opaque it is tough right instead of hard if you write tough that will be a good point it is tough in nature and it is opaque in nature it is opaque it does not let the light to pass through it done then what is the composition of sclera your sclera is composed of what your, our sclera is mostly composed of if you are talking about only sclera the sclera is mostly composed of collagen fibers right it is composed of collagen fibers and which type of collagen in sclera we have type 1 collagen type <laughs> one collagen done then it also so let's know about the 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 
these collagen fibers look friends if we draw a very small part of the sclera for example this is a very small piece of sclera we have taken from this eye this part we have taken and we have enlarged it here so this sclera is composed of uh, type 1 collagen and these collagen fibers are not arranged regularly these collagen fibers are arranged irregularly and these fibers vary in uh, in angles right they have varying angles they are not arranged in regular manner like as in the cornea right they are not arranged regularly but they have varying angles right like this they have varying angles. and some fibers are thick fibers some fibers are thin fibers so let's write these points also these collagen fibers have varying varying diameters right it means that some fibers are thick some fibers are thin they have varying angles right and they are arranged irregularly irregular arrangement so in sclera we say that sclera is composed of type 1 collagen fibers and these fibers some fibers may be thick some fibers are thin and they have varying different types of angles due to this reason sclera is opaque when light ray comes and falls on the sclera the light ray is uh, uh, reflected and reflected and reflected so we say that light is not refracted or passed light is scattered light is scattered within sclera or we say light is dispersed light is not refracted light is dispersed due to the arrangement of these collagen fibers so this was about the composition of the sclera i hope you got it then if we talk about the surface area of the sclera the surface area then what is the surface area of sclera we say that if this is our eye let me draw it once again here this is the eye right and here we have our cornea right we had said that 1 by 6 of the eye is cornea right in the previous lecture we had said and the posterior 5 by 6 of the eye is the sclera so we say 5 by 6 of eye is your sclera so let's me write let me write the surface area is 5 by 6 of sclera or outer cover outer cover of the eye is your sclera done then the the next important point uh, that, that uh, it is derived from what the book says that it is derived from the dura mater and let me show you that also look here friends as we know that our brain if this is our brain and this is the spinal cord pons medulla and your cerebrum this is so simple diagram the brain and spinal cord and some largest nerves in our body are covered with a special membrane and this membrane is called the meninges this is called meninges